The ACLU of Tennessee joined a lawsuit today challenging the use of solitary confinement when it comes to juvenile detainees. The move comes after a 15-year-old was held in solitary for five days in Rutherford County. The ACLU says this practice is psychologically shattering and there is no other way to describe it other than cruel and unusual punishment. There is a major backlash growing 24 hours after Governor Haslam signed the Counselor Protection Bill. The American Counseling Association is considering moving its conference out of Nashville due to concerns that this law is discriminatory. New at 10, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon talked with Mayor Megan Barry about the potential economic impact of this new law. Emily? Well, yeah, she does have some concerns because the American Counseling Association Convention could potentially bring thousands of people and millions of dollars to the local economy. Mayor Barry wants people to know that Nashville is still a welcoming city. In a city known for a booming tourism industry, news that the American Counseling Association may move its annual convention out of the Music City Center is concerning to many. We've seen in other states where you've had legislation that uh, has had an impact like this, where you've had an economic uh, component where people are pulling out. And what we don't want to see is that happen in Nashville. The decision is the result of a bill that allows licensed counselors or therapists to turn away clients based on the counselor's principles or beliefs and not face any punishment. A message on the group's website says, in light of recent legislative actions in Tennessee, ACA is currently weighing options regarding the location of the 2017 conference. Mayor Megan Barry hopes the organization will reconsider. Our message continues to be, we're a warm and welcoming place and we're open for business. President and CEO of the Nashville Convention and Visitors Corporation, Butch Spiridon, said in a statement, we had several clients who expressed their concerns over this bill and how it may affect their decisions to meet in our city. It's too early to know how they will respond, but we will work directly with them to minimize the impact. Much of the concern comes from what's happened in North Carolina. A state law seen as discriminatory to LGBT people has triggered protests and cancellations from conventions to concerts. Now many across Nashville wait to see what may happen here. The bill's been signed, so I think that the message has to con just continue to be that uh, and we, and, and certainly in Nashville, want to make sure that people feel welcome, and that's what we'll continue to do. The NCAA this week also announced it has implemented an anti-discrimination process for championship bids. There are now new requirements for sites looking to host or bid for major NCAA events. And, of course, you may remember that Nashville hosted the women's Final Four two years ago. Reporting live in the newsroom, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Emily, thank you. Now, after signing this bill, Governor Haslam said it doesn't target a specific group. He said counselors still have to accept the client if there is a life-threatening issue. If that is not the case, the counselor must provide a referral.